Okay, Matthew, a two-all draw here against Carrick Rangers. Give me your thoughts on it. I'm disappointed, obviously, because we've thrown away a two-goal lead at home. That we don't, you know, we don't have the luxury of being able to do that. You know, we've got to be able to see the game out, and we didn't do it. So, you know, ultimately, I'm frustrated and disappointed because I know that we can do it. We just haven't gone out and done it today. The old cliche is a game of two halves, and it really was. Put it down, looked so threatening in the first half. Mm -hmm. They created the opportunity after opportunity. Got the two two goal lead, and second half it just wasn't that. No, and we didn't do anything that we done so well in the first half. We we didn't get the ball wide. We didn't get balls into the box. You know, I don't. I can't think of after Lee's opportunity early on in the second half. I can't think of one good pass to play that we done the whole second half. We didn't put our foot on it. You know, we tried to put Sam Ward on with ten minutes to go just to at least try and get on it. But we didn't, and we, we weren't turning them. So eventually, the ball's coming back and back, and you know there's only so much you can defend. There was a, a day of disruption, really, with two players having to be changed in the warm-ups. Yeah. Um, after so many minutes, George Tipton had to come off as well with an injury. So uh, towards the end of the game, that sort of tells because you, you don't have an awful lot of the bench to bring on no. and, and try to change legs. And, and the boys, you know, I think after Tuesday night, we knew they'd put such a shift in 120 minutes that, and and we didn't really have enough freshness to change things up. Um, to, to get us moving forward at least um, so it was tough but you know at the end of the day I, I don't know how we can we, can, we couldn't alter that fact the boys that are out there have to manage it and do what they can do to see the, the rest of the game out and you do that by making the right decisions better clearances getting us up higher up the pitch so we're not inviting in because it's a long way to run from the edge of our box to, the, to their box if we start up higher it will help us do that we didn't do I don't think in the second half I think we sat deep too much it's really a, a draw point that feels like a defeat. Yeah, it feels worse than a defeat if I'm honest because you know we, we had the game in the palm of our hands and, and it was just managing it out and, and obviously sickening to concede late on certainly from a set piece because we pride ourselves on being good at defending set pieces and we just didn't do that today. Another big game next week against Dungannon. Uh, yeah. the, at least the guys have a week off, or not a week off, but they've no game next week. So you know, because it has been Saturday, Tuesday for the last month, so they're going to need it. You know, we'll, we'll get them back in the training field and, and work on a couple of things there as best as we can. As you say, it feels like a defeat. Is it hard for you to get these boys back up again, or is it something they take a few days, it sinks in, and they go again? You know, that's my job to pick them up. I'll do that. You know, it's myself at the minute. That's obviously feeling deflated, but you know, I suppose I'll reflect on the game this evening, tomorrow, and then we'll we'll be back to back ready to work on Monday. Good well, thank you. Cheers.